Jay Shri Krishna. I've missed our stories. So today, let's do a big one. This story takes us to the deep past when two powerful sets of beings ruled over the worlds. The gods, like stars burning brilliantly to share light and warmth. Demons, taking in power and energy, almost like black holes out in space. These two sets of beings would clash inevitably. And sometimes the gods would win, sometimes the demons, but gradually the demons began to ascend in power and the gods saw their numbers dwindling and they saw that their strength was ebbing. So they made their way to a vast ocean somewhere in the middle of it all, an ocean of milk. And on this ocean of milk was an enormous serpent. The serpent was coiled, coil upon coil until it rose up out of the water. And how many heads did it have? Like fanned out all these hoods? Well, think of the highest number you can count to. Got it? Now add one. Now add one. Now multiply by 10. Now multiply by 100. Now multiply by 1,000. This Adi Shesha, this number you can never count to, this serpent of infinity was on this ocean and his hoods shaded a dark god. This dark god was asleep. He had four arms. One hand held a discus, a chakra. Another hand held a conch shell. His third hand held a mace, power. And the fourth, a beautiful blossomed lotus. He wore a yellow silk garment and he was sleeping so peacefully, but from his navel grew a beautiful lotus. And in the lotus's petals was seated Brahma, the creator of the universe. This God was Vishnu. And the gods ran to him and joined their hands and they said, we're sorry to wake you, Vishnu, but we need your help. And Vishnu slowly opened his eyes and he looked at the frightened, desperate faces of the gods around him. He said, what's happened to make the gods lose their power? And the gods told him everything. And he listened and he said, you need Amrut. Amrut. Amrut the nectar of immortality. It will give you eternal life and power. Well, okay, well, where is it? It lies, Vishnu said, at the bottom of this ocean. So do we dive deep into it? Can Varun go? That won't do it. To get what's at the bottom of the ocean to the top, you'll have to churn the ocean. Churn the ocean? Yes. And that's no easy task because to churn something, you need a stick, but this is the ocean we're talking about. So a stick won't do. You'll need a mountain, Mount Meru, and you'll need a rope. But again, it's the ocean and a mountain. So any rope won't do. You'll need the most powerful serpent, the king of the serpents, Vasuki, to serve as your rope. And naturally you won't be able to do any of this by yourself. So you'll need to make a truce. A truce with who? The demons, of course. Well, they're the ones who we, are, we keep fighting. That's why you have to make a truce. You'll need their help in order to do this. So the gods joined their hands and bowed to Vishnu and then went off to make a temporary alliance with their sworn enemies, the demons. The king of the demons, Bali Raja, shrugged and said, okay, we'll help you. We want to know what treasures are in the ocean too. So the gods and the demons went to Mount Meru and with their immense powers mingling, they lifted that mountain and they dragged it across the land and they brought it to the ocean and dropped it in with the biggest splash ever into the ocean. And then with a little help from Garuda, the eagle, Vishnu's eagle, they convinced Vasuki, the king of the serpents, to be their rope. And Vasuki wound himself around the mountain, his head one way, his tail the other. And the gods held the tail and the demons held the head and they began to pull one side and then the other. And as each side pulled, the mountain began to turn one way and then the other. And as they pulled faster and faster, the mountain 
began to churn faster and faster and the ocean began to froth and waves rose higher and higher and everyone looked and wondered when the nectar would emerge. Well, something began to emerge all right. It bubbled up from the depths of the ocean, but it wasn't something that anyone wanted. Fumes filled the air and something something that was toxic began to rise from the ocean and it covered the surface of the water, something sticky, like an oil slick almost. And the gods and the demons, their eyes began to water and they began to cough and they had trouble breathing. And they looked around, what, what, what is this? What, we thought it was nectar that was going to come out. What is this? It was no nectar at all. It was poison, galaguta, a tremendous poison rising from the ocean. And who, who would face such a terrible threat? Who would save the world from the, from the terrible poison rising from the ocean? Let's meet pretty soon to find out.